Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I'm a software IT specialist for IBM Tivoli Business Automation for the Southeast region. And today we're going to discuss IBM Tivoli Composite Application Management, or ITCAM for short. We will first go over the ITCAM family of products, then we will dive more deeply into ITCAM for WebSphere. So let's begin. As we know by the title of ITCAM, it manages composite applications. But well, what exactly are composite applications? Well, they usually consist of three tiers. A front-end tier, which you're with your web servers, IIS, let's say. You got the middle tier with your application servers, your Java servers, let's say WAS, for instance. And then you got your back tier consisting of database servers, like DB2, Kix, IMS. So we see we have many disparate resources which the data is traveling across. So how do we manage that? Well, this composite application architecture increases flexibility in our environment, but also exposes more interdependencies, as we see. So how do we begin to manage something like this? As we see uh, on the graph beside, this is an actual composite application of a customer of ours. It's very complicated. Look at the many different resources that comprises this one application. Managing this would be a daunting task if done manually. We also then have SOA-based initiatives, services-oriented architecture, which we aim to simplify by adding an abstraction layer, but this causes uh, the composite applications to be even more complex. So we realize we require an integrated comprehensive approach to managing these applications. Here's some typical questions that are asked of IT. A client complains of poor response time and you ask IT what's going on? Well they say well all systems are green, we're all up and running, but we know there's a problem. Where do we begin to look? Another typical scenario is, well, we know that there's a slowdown response time and we have many different alerts. Which one is actually the root cause of the problem? And finally, but most importantly, why can't these issues be found before they become problems? We want to indicate warning states so that we can identify the problem and be able to resolve it quickly before the client experiences the problem. So our answer is ITCAM. With it, you're able to first sense a slowdown response time on the client end. Secondly, isolate the problem by indicating which server is actually causing the slowdown in response time. Thirdly, we diagnose the problem by diving deep into the application server and finding out exactly what in that application is causing the problem. Then we can take action on that application. Let's say it's just recycling it. And finally, we evaluate. Did that really solve our problem? And here is just the list of ITCAM products in the family that will enable you to perform those steps. We have first, ITCAM for web for response time, ITCAM for web resources, ITCAM for SOA, ITCAM for RTT or response time tracking, and ITCAM for WebSeer. They together push data to one operational interface called the TEP, the Tivoli Enterprise Portal, and built off of one common infrastructure, ITM or IBM Tivoli Monitoring. Here's just a list of problem resolution processes and the operators that perform these processes. And beside that are the tools that they would be able to use to help them perform their jobs. Well, today we're focused on ITCAM for WebSphere, which would mainly be used by subject matter experts to diagnose and fix the problem, but also can be used by developers to fix the problem as well with a rational integration. Okay. Here's a simple composite application. 
you have your front end composed of web server IIS Apache, your middle tier composed of uh, web server application server, let's say, and then your back end tier databases with DB2, Oracle, and SQL. This is pretty simple, you know, easy to understand, but this is more realistic in a, an environment. This is much more complicated. How do we begin to manage a problem if if there is a slowdown in response time? Where do we begin to look? Well, we first identify the problem with ITCAM for RTT. We have dashboards that show transactions with availability or response time problems. So how this works is basically we do baselining for let's say a transaction inside of an application. Uh, and we we determine what is the norm for that transaction and if it deviates from that norm we throw warnings for the status so that you can quickly identify the problem secondly with RTT we can isolate the problem this is a powerful topology view you see here that comes with RTT it shows you the actually correct system that is run that is causing the problem so we're diving not only into the the resource itself not only to the application but also into the JSP as you see here that's it's indicating that that's the problem after isolating it we can do an in-context launch into ITCAM for WebSphere from RTT so we can see the JVM heap size the number of requests the typical metrics that can answer questions like is performance trending towards failure uh, and as we see here we have a JVM heap size that's steadily increasing, but number of requests basically constant. So a question you might ask, is there a memory leak somewhere? So that's what ITCAM for WebSphere is going to enable you to do, diagnose problems like those. Then we can fix the problem with ITCAM for WebSphere with our iPod Rational Integration. iPod stands for IBM Performance Optimization Toolkit. And what this will enable you to do is first, when a transaction has violated a policy you've defined uh, in the problem alert management center, it actually will trigger a trap which will turn on what we call level 3 diagnostics. And that will capture method level data. So it does method level tracing, stack tracing. And we will import that data with our iPod integration into the rational development environment. Then the developer can look at it one of two ways. They can visualize the data as a UML transaction and you see here uh, where the dot is located it's actually red indicating a slowdown response time on that graph. They can also visualize it as a call graph. Both are well understood by developers. So they can click through these graphs and it will jump them directly to the line of code that was actually causing the trap to, to be triggered. And in this example, I don't know if you can read it, but it's highlighting a line that's just a simple sleep command that caused the problem and the client experienced it. So, But now with ITCAM pro suite of products, we're able to identify, isolate, diagnose, and fix the problem so that we have quicker resolution times. This is why we say only Tivoli can tell the whole story. Comprehensive end-to-end -end monitoring. We can monitor from the client end to the back end. Unmatched scalability. We support industry best practices. You can believe that we'll be so enabled and that we'll follow ITIL standards. This is uh, the big plus that you get from Tivoli. That we can monitor the entire environment.